Coaches, I have a challenge for you this week. I want to talk about scaling. What does that mean to you? What does scaling mean? Is it making more money? Is it making more money in less time? So being more productive? Is it getting faster results for your students? The key is, have you got it down on paper, right? Do you know what you're actually looking for? I keep hearing time and time again, this whole idea of like work-life balance. But my piece would be this. If I have one really good day on the lake or skiing for, let's just say, five or six hours, right? I'm refueled maybe for three to four days. So balance isn't always, I need three days off to have three days of good work, right? So how much time do you need off a week? How much time do you need to recharge? How much time do you need to go and play golf and just get away from things? Next thing would be is how much money do you actually need? Like what do you what do you actually need to make, right? And do you have that written down? Do you have your budget in place? Do you have a track of how to get there? And then finally, what, what's the results that you're getting? What are you known for? I mean, how much success are you actually having? Because standing on a range all day, teaching all day and just fixing swings is, yes, it makes you some money, doesn't really make it very effective for your time, but are you getting the results that you desire? So to me is, I would challenge you to start to write down three things. Number one is some testimonials, some future testimonials of your students and what they're going to say about you, how you help them play high school golf, college golf, how you got them to break 80, 70, whatever it may be score-wise, right? Next thing would be is the amount of time you're going to invest in yourself each week to ensure that you're refreshed, energized. And when I say scaling, you're more productive because you're making the same or more money in less time. So you're selling results, not time. And then the final one is, yeah, what have you got to make? And remember, inflation is always growing, right? And on top of that, you need to pay off your mortgage. You need a retirement. You've got kids, they've got to go and get a college, go through college. It's always going to cost you more than you think. So I would get those three things down on paper, even if it's on a sticky note, and at least have a target to start aiming for. We teach our students to do this, right? Get it down on paper, have a target, have a goal, get after it. Well, you need to be doing the same too. So get to work. That's the challenge for this week. Hope this really helps.